Hello guys and welcome to a new Snow Division 2 video today by me Vulcan. Today I have you Frublord vs L Victor, also known as Titan BR, in round 2 of the second Steel Division 2 championship. I'm going to refer to L Victor as Titan throughout this game just so that I don't confuse you guys. So on our left in the red team playing on the Soviet side we have Titan using the 3rd US Armoured and the Vanguard deployment type. And on our right, in the blue team, we have Frublord playing on the Axis side using the Pansari, the Vizhona, and the Vanguard deployment type. So we have the US versus the Finns. It's going to be a very interesting matchup. Third US, pretty strong division in my opinion. It does have plenty of cheap Shermans that it can throw at the enemy, as well as some decent infantry, all equipped with uh, bazookas that can be a real nuisance has plenty of decent artillery units in the form of the mortar carriers or there's things like the calliope has some decent aircraft as well the thunderbolts on the side of the pansari it's all about that finnish infantry plus an, a range a massive range of tanks you got things like the isu 152s you got the t34 85 1944s uh, you got some standard t34s uh, as well as a bunch of other interesting stuff like the Sturmies. of course can't forget about those now, Froblord is well known in the competitive scene. Titan, maybe not so much. Titan actually pulled off a really nice win in the first round of this tournament against Theoman, and that certainly switched things up in round one. I think it caught Tiger and Gonzo off guard at the time uh, when they hosted the games live. But either way, here we are, and let's see what's going down. So we'll start on the side of Frublord. So we've got some Yakari on the top side here, two lots of those. Further down, we see the Neloden and the Sotka 85. The Sotka 85 is the T-34 1944. Uh, then we see more Yakari, uh, followed up by Laheto Yunta, the Kivari, and also an AT gun there. I think that's the Pack 40 Yes, it is. And there's also going to be Taka Ampuya, also a leader, following those up. Further down, we see Taka Toyunta, Yakari, the Lahe Toyunta, more Yakari, Kivari leader, and also APAC 40 at the front. On the side of Titan, he's got Scouts zooming ahead across the board, as well as Recon. So he's got Recon and Scouts zooming forwards, heavy flamethrower. Uh, there's going to be Engineer Leader on this bottom side with Engineers. These are all coming in the GMC HMGs. And they've also got a couple of Armoured LMG rifles following that up in the M2 half-tracks. Uh, M10 Tank Destroyer also making its way over. Engineers moving into the centre. M1 gun to cover the open on the top there. Uh, we've got more Engineer Leaders. Armoured rifles in standard GMC trucks. And Recon's getting right in the face of these guys. More recon further up, heavy flamethrower, recon, armoured rifles, 50 cal. These AT guns placed quite far back. 50 cal moving up to the top side. He's got left a flamethrower back at home. But yeah, these scouts, they're going to get overrun very quickly. Those Thompson machine guns and carbines really not going to match up too well against the sheer number of SVTs they're up against. Although saying that, since Frublord is just running into them, they almost killed the Kivari. That would have been a big mistake there from Frublord. It didn't happen. In the town we see a triple surrender. There's going to be multiple units of infantry being lost there from Titan. I think he lost his two armoured rifles. A big, big loss. The Yakari, of course, having their SVTs as well as those Molotovs. And the Molotovs really shock and awe against that infantry. Did the job. On the top side, recon not unloaded yet. A couple Yakari from Frablo just holding the ground. Looks like this heavy frame thrower has found a bit of a salient, but not too many flags to gain up there. He's really got to concentrate on the mid and bottom side. And in the mid, it's very one-sided at the moment with Frublord having a lot of troops on the field. Titan left with his one engineer leader and it doesn't look like it's even going to get in range to throw its HE grenade, which is pretty tragic. Oh, it might do. We're going to get killed off by the Molotov. And that Yakari takes some damage but shrugs it off. We're going to see this engagement now occur on the bottom side. The armoured LMG rifles at this range are actually really, really good against the Lahito Yunta and the Yakari. 
because they get to use their two machine guns as well as the M1 Garands, and the M1 Garands are really, really strong uh, rifles. P-51 Mustang coming in with the bombing strike to pin down and kill off some of these men. These both taken down to one health should allow the new armored rifles to clean them up, but Titan really needs to make sure that he unloads these in good time and doesn't let them get surrendered again by moving straight on top of his enemy. Armored LMG rifles, yep, they have won this engagement. You can see the Yakari absolutely destroyed all of the units that were engaged with the armored LMG rifles there in disarray. A uh, little bit of a bombing strike from this Blenheim. See that come in, provide those four 250 kilogram bombs. Does a little bit of damage, not too much. Oh no, <laughs> just as I mentioned, not losing these too easy. Well, two GMC trucks go down before they're unloaded. Looks like one of them unloaded, but was probably just annihilated by the uh, Molotovs of the Yakari and taken out. Titan's losing a lot of troops here very, very quickly. Yakari. Still moving forwards. Big salient being found on the bottom side for Frob Lord. M10 destroyer being moved in. The M10 de tank destroyer is actually a quite nice choice against the uh, T3485. And he gets a turret stuck for a shot. And unfortunately, the turret stuck forwards. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. Going to be able to get the second shot off. Oh, if that was changed to a normal AP shell, then he probably would have got the kill with the M10. But he does not. And the T3485 lives to fight another day. B-51 does not do enough damage with those bombs to get the kill. Another Blenheim coming in with its bombs. Neither player investing in AA. It's freely bombing each other. And with those bombs coming down, that is going to pin the rifle leader, allow the Yakari and the Tanker Doyunta to push forwards and take them out. Two more Yakari on the bottom side. We've also seen Problord now finally invest into the Landsberg there. Pack 40 on the top side. Maybe provide some HE fire support for the Yakari. This MG, I thought it was a 50 cal, but nope, it's just the uh, the Browning M1917. So that's an interesting choice, that's for sure. Anyway, rifles here and engineers having to go at the Yakari, having a hard time because now they're under fire also by the two Nalonen that are coming in with the one star veteran scene being buffed to three star veteran scene thanks to the Kivari. There is, of course, the commander back here that's allowing that leader to provide the two-star veterancy on top of the one-star base. So Titan in a very, very tough position. The fact he lost six units of infantry in the center in the initial engagements is real tough at the start of the game because the third US armored really doesn't have that much infantry availability as it is. And that's probably one reason why it's not played so much in 1v1. It is a relatively strong division if you make good use of armor, but that only works on certain maps uh, from my experience so Yakari taking on the armored LMGs honestly these armored LMG rifles should stay where they are and just kill the Yakari but it looks like he's going to start moving them if you move the infantry while they're engaging they're going to take more damage so in that case probably better to just take the heavy cover light cover engagement against the Yakari and force Froblord to close the distance to get the Molotov off or the Yakari looking for the kill. They do find it with the Panzerfaust. Nicely done. Yakari coming into the center for Froblord. Going to be reinforcing that center area. Make it very difficult for these M5A1 Stuarts to gain any ground. Now, what would have been nice to see is if some of these Stuarts were supporting the initial push of the infantry. Personally, I prefer to make use of things like the Shermans. But uh, M5A1 uh, Stuarts can be relatively useful. But... I mean, you could see briefly at the end there that Froblord had taken a massive chunk of that map. Massive lead in terms of flags and Titans, in fact, going to give up the game 6 minutes and 47 seconds in. So, Froblord really, really doing a number on Titan there. 750 kills to 145 losses. And it mainly comes down to just, well, Titan's lack of value out of his units in general uh, since the Yakari managed to get the better of so many units in the middle there. Look at that. At the start of the game, this is not something you want to see. You don't want to be trading ineffectively against cheaper infantry. The infantry of the US is very expensive. You don't get much of it. And yeah, Frob Lord's Yakari, it's a little bit different. They're only 20 points or maybe a little bit more. Um, depends on the patch that they're on. 
But regardless, um, two-star veterancy there, using the leader, using the commander, uh, nicely done. Tucker Ampulia also doing a ton of damage, killing an M1 gun in the process. And yeah, these GMC HMGs, not a great pick in terms of transports, mainly because they don't have any armor. So light arms fire is going to be able to take them out. So that's not ideal. And the M1917 HMG is just subpar to a 50 cal. So might as well be bringing in 50 cal uh, machine guns if you can get them. I'm not entirely sure if you can because I'm not a massive fan of, of bringing those MGs. But either way, the recon start was interesting. I feel like the scouts could potentially be a good idea at the start to kind of give you an idea of where the enemy is going to push in. Also, they can kind of work like Superli PPSH because they have the jeeps and they can get to positions very quickly. So if the opponent's not paying attention, then in theory, you could probably get a couple of transport kills with the uh, Thompson submachine guns close range, as well as the grenades onto the transports. But not something that seemed very often and the use of these recon was probably unnecessary uh, definitely would want to invest those points that you spent on the recon into something like uh, the m5a ones at the start and having that armored support from the get-go would have been way better so yeah i feel like titan kind of dropped the ball there in the first round he did really well against the man and i think people were expecting him to do a bit better against rub lord Unfortunately, not the case. So Front Blow is going to be moving on to round three. Titan, commiserations. Definitely did well to get this far. Uh, just ended up against a very strong opponent in Front Lord. So that's it. Not too much to it. Just a very strong game and strong performance from Front Lord. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,